my brothers and sisters of Providence and our guests all around the world, God bless you. We look forward to being in worship with you this Sunday, one service, 10 a.m., as we minister a sermon entitled, Worship God Alone. We're concluding the book of Revelation. We are working our way through, and this is the final week of our reading. And as we get into our reading this week, you're going to read a message out of Revelation chapter 19, verses 9 through 10. There's an important word that is being brought here as this book is being brought to a conclusion. And the word is the ideal that we must worship God alone. We live in a world where so many things are pulling for your worship. Money wants your worship. Relationships want your worship. Jobs want your worship. People want your worship. And most importantly, the devil, Satan, wants your worship. As we prepare to read the final chapters of the Bible and look at what John is trying to teach us from the revelation he received, we're going to get an important message. And that message is that in the midst of all that is going on in this world that is pulling for your attention, your adoration, and your worship, you have a call on your life to worship God alone, to put everything and everyone on the back burner and allow God to be first, your only, in your life. I'm going to tell you to do it, and I'm going to tell you how to do it this Sunday. One service, 10 a.m. Join us as we worship together out of Revelation 19, verses 9 through 10, a message entitled, Worship God Alone. We love you, brothers and sisters. God bless you. Thank you.